Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scrolling car game. So it's something like this, uh, so the background moves as we drive our car. And while there's no objective to this car game either, like the last one that I made, uh, but well still you can add uh, someone to race with, you can make it two player, you can well, add a shop for upgrading cars and well a lot more stuff like that. What makes this game different than what I made before is this game's, uh, well, the track is stable and it just goes around one small track. But in here we can make bigger tracks and, well, it's just more realistic. And also, one of somebody had commented uh, how to make a movie. Can you make a movie about how to make a 3D game with camera rotation? I think he means something like this. So, well, yeah, let's get right into it. So, yeah, you can get rid of the scratch cat like I did already. And then choose a color for your backdrop. I'm going to keep it green like this one uh, and make it a bit darker. And then I have my road in my, uh, well, backpack so I'm gonna get that and let's so this road looks smaller than this and how we can make it bigger is we can make it small first put it in the center and then go to the coding place and then uh, change the size to like 600 so it becomes super big and then you just take this and make it big again and it makes it big like this uh, so you can't see the track right now let me try to adjust it and actually you can put one the track one the part of the track in the center so if you don't know where the center is it shows in this uh, thingy if you can see it here so put the road so that it's overlapping the uh, the center and yeah you can see the road uh, you can make it bigger by making it smaller and then it increasing the size again, but I think I'm okay with this width of the road. So let's start with, uh, well actually let's get our other sprite. I also have it in my, uh, backpack. It's the same car that I used uh, for the last car game video. And we're just gonna... Well, let's get uh, start making the code. It's pretty well. It's more hard. It's harder than what we made before, but it's still pretty simple. So I'll show you in a second. But first, we have to make this car slower. I mean, not slower, smaller, and we need to make it so that it's pointing this way. So make sure your car is pointing to the left, and it is small, and well good to fit in the track and then let's start with when green flag clicked we don't need to change our size we can just make because we already changed the size in the editor so then we can just go to the front layer so that the road does not come over the car and then you can point it that direction I don't know now it's 90 so I'm just gonna put it that Uh, point in direction 90 and then let's get two variables called x speed and y speed we don't need to display these but I'm just gonna do it for now uh, and then let's do forever if uh, we're touching the this thingy whatever color that is that's a shade of green we can get that by the color picker uh, so let's get let's get that color and then let's do set speed let's do we need another uh, main speed variable I'm just gonna name it speed uh, we can set that I'm gonna hide the speed variable isn't, isn't that important to display actually none of these are important to display but then it's still just to see what those variables actually do and we can change it to 0 0.2 uh, 
uh, but we need an else statement as well so get the if else block and we'll just move it there and else we set speed to 0 0.6 and then let's do if we uh, press up arrow key so key up arrow pressed then we're gonna change x speed uh, by so now here comes some trigonometry which is kind of complicated but uh, I hope you understand it so it will be the sign of direction multiplied by minus 1 and then that multiplied by speed so yeah we got that there and then for y speed it will be so co cosine of direction multiplied by zero minus one multiplied by speed now let's make the code for down arrow so if down arrow pressed then we just need to get rid of the multiplied by minus one thing and i think that'll be it So I think this is the only complicated part and everything else is just simple. The turning is just moving, well just turning the sprite uh, just like this. So when right arrow is pressed, we turn it by six degrees just with the inbuilt scratch turning function. Uh, for the left arrow, let's do minus. Actually, we can just use this and do six degrees. I'll put that in your code. And then we need scrolling uh, variables. So let's do, actually you can just use X speed and Y speed. So you don't need scrolling variables. And then let's set uh, X speed. So we need to change it by multiply it by 0 0.93 otherwise well, it's like too slow actually it's too fast so just to make the car driving experience more accurate we multiply it by 0 0.93 so let's do that and then same for y speed so all this does is just make the car physics more smoother and stuff uh, so let's put y speed So right now nothing will happen even if you run the code you'll you can only turn but now we need to actually well move the background and it's actually not much code most of the main code is happening in the car sprite so when clicked you can just show and then forever it goes to uh, scroll X well, scroll x will be x speed we can make scrolling variables but then we don't really need it uh, so x speed multiplied by minus one and y speed multiplied by minus one so let's run the code now and doesn't work for some reason uh let me check wait actually we need scroll variables well let me change that so make two variables scroll x and scroll y i'm sorry i messed up we need scroll variables otherwise we don't know well you don't know the earlier position and stuff so let's do set scroll x actually change scroll x by x speed and change scroll y by y speed it's just a quick correction it doesn't need much work oh uh, let's we don't need this variables to be seen let's do scroll x and scroll y now it should work yeah 
we've got our game uh, we can turn we can go around and the track I just made it with a paintbrush I just made the thickness very high and then I uh, drew a random track with my hand and with the mouse uh, and the car was from the internet so yeah if you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe if you have any doubts or suggestions for more videos then please put it in the comments and I will see you in my next video I also make Roblox videos so please check them out if you're interested in them bye